Hey guys, and thank you for watching. Today I am here to bring you my most repurchased makeup and skincare products. I did want to add my skincare products because I feel like I do repurchase more skincare products than I do makeup products. So yeah, if you want to see some of the makeup and skincare items that I frequently repurchase, go ahead and keep watching. Let's start with skincare first, just since those are the items that I repurchase the most. And I think the item that I've gone through more times than any other product that I'm going to show you is my toner. And this is the Caudalie Moisturizing Toner. And I just love this stuff. I just go through it... I want to say this is maybe like my 15th or 20th bottle. I use it in the morning and at night. It's hydrating. I feel like it tones my face without drying it out. And I just don't see any reason to purchase another toner at this time. If it's not broke, don't fix it. So this is probably the, well, there might be one other product giving it a run for its money, but this is one of the most repurchased items in my collection. I have also repurchased this Derma Doctor Wrinkle Revenge Eye Balm. This is my third jar of it. I really like this eye balm because it can be used underneath your eyes, but also on your eyelid. And most eye creams are not really safe for the eyelid area just because the skin on your eyelids is so thin and so sensitive. So this is ophthalmologist tested safe for the upper eyelids and that's why I just keep going back to it. My favorite night cream is by Origins. It is the High Potency Nitamins Mineral Enriched Renewal Cream. I want to say this is maybe my fourth jar of it. It smells so good. It's super hydrating. It really nourishes my dry skin and so I just keep going back to it. I have tried other night creams but none of them wow me like this one. Sticking with skincare, my most repurchased moisturizer is definitely the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. I have tried other moisturizers just because this one doesn't have SPF in it, and I live in Texas, so I really want to protect my skin from the sun. So I've tried other ones, but I just don't love them the way that I love Clinique. I keep coming back to it. I want to say this is maybe my fourth or fifth large pump bottle of this moisturizer, and I just really love it. I do not have a face wash to show you because I have currently finished it up and I'm trying a new one, but I'll insert a picture. My most repurchased face wash is by, is by Philosophy and it is the Purity Face Wash. I would purchase the large jars of it and I probably went through like maybe two or three and I did really enjoy it. I just wanted to try something different and so I've been using the First Aid Cleanser and I really do enjoy that one, but I will more than likely be purchasing another Purity by Philosophy in the future. This next product is what is giving Caudalie a run for its money in my makeup collection and that is my Fix Plus by MAC Cosmetics. I use this before foundation, I use this after foundation, I use this in the middle of the day when my face is feeling dry, I use this when I'm not wearing makeup and my face is feeling dry. I go through probably one every two months, if not one a month, and I just keep repurchasing it. I'm not a huge like setting spray person. I'm not really concerned with making my makeup last for a super long time. I'm more concerned with hydration, and Fix Plus really does that for me. I've probably gone through 20 or 30 bottles of these, and you do get to back to back and get a free lipstick for it, so that's a bonus. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into some makeup items. The only primer that I have ever repurchased is the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. This is my third container of it. I love it. It's super hydrating, but it does also leave my skin feeling a little tacky. So I do know that it's going to hold my foundation onto the face while moisturizing. That's what I'm looking for, and I'll totally continue to repurchase this. The two brow products that I am madly in love with and have repurchased probably five or six times are both by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it is the Brow Wiz and the Brow Definer, both in caramel. I like to use the Brow Wiz to give me that sharp defined line underneath my brow and to like just make it look a little bit more natural with some hair like flicks. 
but I like the definer because I have sparse brows and the definer fills them in a lot quicker. So these two paired together, I keep repurchasing over and over. I have a lot of like YouTube and Instagram friends who have been trying out the Benefit brow products and they've been really loving them. And as much as I would like to try them out, it's hard for me as a natural redhead to find an eyebrow shade that really matches my hair as much as the Anastasia does. So until Benefit comes out with a caramel shade in their line, I'll be sticking to these bad boys. I don't know if you would technically consider this a repurchase. However, this is my fourth sample of the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. I get these when it's like a 100 point perk. I've gotten one in my Ipsy. I've gotten one in my Play by Sephora. And I keep getting these little sample sizes. When I run out of the sample sizes though, I will purchase it for the first time. I just really love this liner. It makes the wing nice and easy to create. It's nice and sharp. I have good control over it and I really love this liner. A concealer that I have repurchased is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This and the Maybelline Fit Me are the only two concealers that I have actually repurchased. And if you watch my products that I used to love video, then you know that I no longer love the Maybelline Fit Me, but I am still very much in love with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I might try a different shade. I have mine in the shade Light Warm, but when I do use this one all up, I will repurchase, but I might try light neutral to have not such a yellow undertone, but maybe more of like a salmon or pink undertone, but I really love this concealer. Okay, so I got a phone call and I'm not 100% sure where I left off, but I think I was about to tell you about my most repurchased mascara, and this is Maybelline's The Rocket Volume Express. I do not get it in the waterproof version. I don't like waterproof mascaras. I've been having issues with eczema on my eyelids, and to take off waterproof mascara is just a big challenge for me. So I get it in the regular formula. I usually get the blackest black, and probably gone through about 10 or 12. I have two open mascaras right now, so I don't wanna open this one up and use it, but this is definitely a favorite. Sticking with the eyes, my most repurchased they're not really repurchased because I only purchased the colors technically one time, but the most eyeshadow products that I have purchased from are my Makeup Geeks. I have this full Z palette of all Makeup Geek shadows, and then I do have another Z palette which has about a row and a half of other Makeup Geek shadows that I don't use as often. These are some of my favorite eyeshadows. They're super pigmented, they're creamy. I know that they have pretty good ingredients, like for example, Marlena, who is the CEO of Makeup Geek, she, um, she actually has a talc allergy, so I know that these are made without talc. So I think they're supposed to be a little bit, maybe less, harmful for your eyes, but I just really love them, so these are definitely a repurchase, I guess. Some lashes that I have repurchased are by Coco Lashes. I'm wearing my Queen Bees right now, and then I have repurchased my Goddess Lashes. These can last about, I don't know, 20 to 30 wears before they start to really break down. So they are pretty long lasting, but I have repurchased both of these and I really enjoy them. I did pick some lipsticks, but these again are like the Makeup Geek shadows. I haven't necessarily repurchased these specific colors, but my most purchased lipsticks, the, the lipsticks that I've repurchased the most from one brand, are my MAC lipsticks. These are just two shades, one's in Modesty and Velvet Teddy, but these are some of my favorite lipsticks to purchase. I also really like to get them when I back to MAC with my Fix Plus, but these are some of my favorite lipsticks, and these are definitely, this is, MAC is definitely the brand that I've purchased the most lipsticks from. And I also wanted to mention liquid lipsticks 
Believe it or not, even through all of the controversy, Kylie Cosmetics is the brand that I have purchased the most liquid lipsticks from. I love liquid lipsticks. I've gotten some from ColourPop. I've gotten some from Joseph Colors. I have a Kat Von D one. I have a Sephora brand, but I usually just get one or two shades, whereas Kylie Cosmetics, I do have several of her liquid lipstick shades, and I do really love them. If you want to throw a tool in there, this extremely dirty beauty blender, I did just use it today. This beauty blender is my most repurchased makeup tool. This is probably my eighth, maybe. I tend to go through two or three a year, so I really love this guy. And I will finish it up with my most repurchased masks. I do, <clears throat> excuse me, I do love the Sephora sheet masks, specifically this one here in Lotus because it's super hydrating. I just like to put these on at the end of the day while I'm taking a bath and just relax and hydrate my face. And I mean, they're only like six bucks or something. So I really enjoy these. I, I feel like it gives me some good hydration. I haven't used any of the others. Um, I did try one that I didn't like, but I don't use like the purifying or the mattifying. I just really look for hydration in masks. So this is a go-to favorite for me. All right, guys, those are some of my most repurchased products. Let me know some of your like holy grail most repurchased products down below. I think it'll be fun to hear some of the things that are maybe the same or different, some products that we both love, or some products that are maybe new to me. If you could just leave those in the comments down below. I love reading your comments and responding to them. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I do believe that this might be going up around Easter time, so I do want to say Happy Easter. If you celebrate, I hope you get some family time and you just get to relax and enjoy yourself. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe on your way out, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.